Just so you guys know, dogs that run away, they look like that. Anyway, here's the gauntlet, 30 cal. I wasn't going to film any of this, but I figured maybe some of you would want to know. This is what comes in the package. Bunch of stuff. Freeze dried. Hermetically sealed. Whoa. All kinds of shiny stuff. Extra O-rings. I think those are for your magazine. A couple mags right here. Oh, no, that's a 30 caliber single shot tray. Wow. I'm going to get this all suited up and we'll be back at you in one, two, three. All right, I'm running the Crown Saver 3 here with some Ballastol. Here's the first patch I pulled. Definitely a filthy barrel. You want to clean that gunk out of there for the best accuracy. By the way, that's what a JL Crown Saver looks like. You need one if you're going to shoot air guns. So as you can see, there's the first patch. It was filthy. I soaked it on both sides. And all the way to pretty much clean. These patches, I pulled them multiple times, like three or four times. We should be good to go. The 30 caliber is going to hold seven rounds in the magazine. And you get two magazines, a really nice single shot tray, and an Allen key, probably to adjust your cheek piece. It's got a 1 8 quick disconnect foster fitting built into the gun, so you don't need any fill probe. You just hook it straight up to your compressor, or your hand pump, or your scuba tank. This gun has an overall length of 47 inches with a 29 inch barrel. It weighs 8.5 pounds. It's got M-lock slots all over it for your accessories. My auto shut off shut off exactly at 300 bar. All right, beautiful looking gun, that's for sure. We got it filled up to 4,500 PSI. But here's something curious. 30 caliber, max pressure, 2,900, 200 bar. But then everywhere else, it's telling me 4,500. It says right here, this is a 4,500 PSI tank. So I'm guessing that you fill it up to 300 bar, but it's regulated, and you don't want to set your regulator above that amount. So because it's regulated, no more than 2,900 PSI is making it to that receiver block. But I... This does not have an adjustable regulator. You have to hit up Hajimoto if you want one of those. If you don't know who Hajimoto is, just go to Hajimoto Productions, link in the description, and that's where you can order a variety of upgrades for your Gauntlet 30. Okay, okay. do it. Mm -hmm. Do it. All right. It's got a nice soft rubber butt pad, adjustable cheek piece that's gonna go up and down. It's got dual rails, so you have dove's tail or picatinny rail. Got the gauntlet 30 laser etched into the side of the stock. There's your built in foster fitting right there. And you have a 24 cubic inch removable air tube, so that's awesome. At the front, you got a 1 half UNF LDC adapter, so you can just remove that thread protector and add any LDC you want. It's got an aircraft grade aluminum receiver. To insert the single shot tray, you're gonna take this little slice right here and fit that right over the end of the barrel. So you can only slide it in on the left side. That's the side opposite the charging handle. But this single shot tray is not hard to install at all. It's actually fits very nicely. It snaps right in and out. This is how you cock it. It's got a notch in the front and in the back. So lock the bolt forward, you're ready to fire. And here's the trigger pull test. It has a trigger pull weight of exactly two pounds. Single stage trigger, they're so smooth you don't even notice. It's a great trigger. So it has the one half UNF air gun threads at the end of the muzzle. That's your standard air gun thread for LDCs. I went ahead and added my Donnie FL 2.0 because I don't shoot any gun without my 2.0 on it. If I didn't mention already, this gun is pushing out 99 foot pounds. And today we're going to start this party at a very special 36 yards away. All right, we're going to be single shot loading JSP 44 grain to start off with. I don't know where I'm going to hit. I'm just going to shoot right here. Oh, I like the trigger. Very nice trigger. 
All right, you guys, I'm guessing this could be a one-shot sign in. 1,009 feet per second. <laughs> All right, maybe not. Pretty close. That one made it in the hole. That was a one-shot sight in. All right, let's just do a group of these bad boys. That was exactly 1,000 feet per second. It's probably too fast, but we'll do a group anyway. We're not sighted in yet. Same hole in it at 1,000 feet per second. That's pretty awesome. This gun does not have much kick. Something that does happen though is it goes in the hole. This is crazy. 1,010 feet per second, or 14 feet per second, going in the same hole at 35 yards. Darn it, close enough. All right, let me click over a little bit. I'm having so much fun, I just want to keep shooting these, but we should actually move on. Let me see if I can get it right in the center though. I clicked over like four or five clicks. I'm gonna do a three shot group. Wow, they have got a winner right here. This is a smooth gun, you guys. Kind of not what I was expecting. Wow, same hole in it. Darn it, I just like, don't even feel the need to test any other pellets, but we're gonna do it anyway, darn it. I'm not gonna enjoy it though. Here we go. All right, let's see how fast these 50 grains are flying. One, the heavy pellets. See what we're gonna hit. <laughs> that go in the same hole. 974. That's crazy. It's making no difference. These heavier pellets. Not making hardly no difference though. I'm just gonna do a uh, three shot group because I don't want to screw one up. Well, we got one more. Four shot group. Here we go. See what I mean? All right, so that was the uh, 50.15 grain JSB. Now let's do the FX 50.1 grain, and we'll finish off with the 46 grain FX. This is a FX 50.15 grain. And that's the FX right there. Starting off strong. Nice. Do one more group with these guys on this little Kind of a smaller one. Boy, this 30 caliber at 35 yards is just drilling it. You know, if I was shooting my best, they'd be going in the same hole right now. I'll tell you that right now. All right. 46.3 grain FX pellets. Yeah, that's to be expected. These are going a little faster. Whoa, back to 1,000 feet per second. Yeah, you're probably going to want to shoot the 50s with this gun for sure. Whoa, boy, I think you can shoot just about anything at 30 calibers, though. At 35 yards, though. Oh, my gosh. Hammering it. Let's do a five-shot group on these. Oh, yes, that's a great way to end this 35-yard session. 46 grain going in the same hole around 1,000 feet per second. Very nice. In a second, you're going to see some water splash up from this part of the screen. And that was from me pretty much doing a face plant right into the mud. Man, it's too bad I didn't get that on tape. I just ate it like in the mud, you guys. <laughs> about halfway down there. But at least I took my phone out of my pocket about 20 seconds before that. Booyah. And now we're going to do a sound test. This is with the Donnie FL on there. All right, now we have just the shroud, no LDC. Okay, we're set up on a rainy afternoon. 49 yards away. Perfect. We'll call it 50. All right, 46.30 grain. 50 yards. All right, a little bit high. That's kind of weird. <laughs> oh, yeah, these are flying fast. I'm going to have to change to a different pellet. We'll see. I'm going to shoot a three-shot group, see what happens. 
My gun moved a little bit that time. Huh. Shooting pretty good. I have to stick with these pellets. Let's see. I adjusted my crosshairs to the right. Clipped over too far. Way too far. And these shots right here are just me getting sighted in perfectly. That's holding a dime or a nickel for sure. Do you remember to hit? <laughs> I forgot this thing shoots exactly the same spot. 50 grain or 44 grain, so. All right, now that guy can see, so that's good news. All right, let's just do a five shot group right here. I forgot we're only shooting three shot groups on this one, so I'm gonna call that good. So I wasn't planning on reviewing this gun. I had to just squeeze it in in the middle of my week. So I had to spend about a half a day shooting it, maybe a day and a half editing this video. So the shots you guys just watched in this video were just the first, I don't know, 60 shots out of this gun. I didn't have time to really play around with it or do too much research on it. But my first impressions are it's a great gun. I'm very impressed with the accuracy and the smoothness. The trigger, and when you pull the trigger, the gun goes off, but there's not a lot of recoil. It's very, very smooth when it shoots. It doesn't like vibrate or jerk back or anything like that. So they got a winner right here. I think this is probably the best gauntlet that they've made yet. So definitely I know a lot of you guys like to hunt coyotes, do target shooting and other things with your 30 caliber. This is definitely going to be up to the task. I feel the accuracy is definitely there. All right, you guys, that's it for me on this one. I appreciate you tuning in. These should be available in a couple months. Umarex USA had a few of these for sale, but I got the last one. And according to Hajimoto, it is going to be a few months before these are in the stores. But you can always pre-order it from Airgun Depot or Pyramid Air. And if you use the link in the description, I'll make 5% on anything you buy after clicking through that link. All right, you guys. Thanks again for watching. Everybody take care out there. Happy shooting. And we'll see you on the next one.